Jamaica. Fam, it is your boy, David Brand New. Oh, back with another video for you all. Oh. And today we got another banger video for you guys, all right? That is because we don't have another e-bike to review. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. I got a couple projects I wanna start. And let me show you guys what they are. If you guys been keeping up with the channel, you know I am way overdue to put on those purple tires, all right? The reason is because the stock tires on the electric light are freaking dope as hell. I didn't realize it until I actually got on the bike. I had already ordered the purple tires before I even rode this freaking bike. The stock ones are 20 by 2.6. So as you can see, they're pretty beefy already. Let me check my purple ones. Just so you guys can get an idea, this is how it's gonna look with the purple. It's gonna look super freaking dope. Now, one thing if you guys can notice is that your boy is colorblind. <laughs> this purple does not match with this purple, which doesn't match with this purple, which doesn't match with this pink. <laughs> when I bought all these accessories, I honestly thought it was the same exact purple and it's like five different colors, okay? But I think it's gonna look good regardless. So these ones are slightly smaller than the stocks. They're 20 by 2.5. As you guys can tell, these are street tires and these are knobby. So once I put these on, it's gonna be no more off-roading. If you guys plan on doing this mod, you probably should pick these up. These are called tire levers and they just make it easy for you to take off your tire and you don't have to worry about popping the inner tube inside because they're made out of plastic. Pumping up the tires right now almost off of work yes i still work my nine to five i don't even know why i work this job at this point guys i'm contemplating quitting every single freaking day anyways tires are on the bike i'm gonna flip it over show you guys how it looks and then after i get off work we'll take it to a skate park what are we saying guys kind of sexy not gonna freaking lie now the purples are completely off, but I feel like with this bike, you can throw any color tire on here and it'll look dope. They're not bad. They're 2.5s instead of 2.6, and I really can't even tell the difference. guys it's a brand new day yesterday i ended up getting off of work and to be honest with you it was just so freaking hot i didn't feel like riding my bike okay so today i woke up extra early just to call off work and we're gonna ride our bike i told you guys i want to take it to a skate park so that's where we're headed right now i wanted to go early in the morning before it got too hot and while all the kids are in school because you guys know how crazy kids can get Out of breath i just did a chase cam <laughs> literally just pulled up to the skate park what's your name landon i'm david landon's gonna try out the electric xp bmx we got landon the professional bmx rider right here oh yeah so long. he said it's so long and something feels off just because i'm used to that bike ah uh, does feel right? he's doing throttle only through this course 
smooth too. Ooh, I don't know if I could do all that. So you know the folding bikes have long stems, right? The long, ugly. Yeah. It like comes up right straight up like this. Yeah. This is a product I actually created. I invented the, this. The quick release stem. Yeah. Pull yeah. it open. Undo the latch and slide it up. And now it's this one right here. So adapter. Oh damn. Boom. So now you can fold your bike up, put it in the car. Oh shit. You know what I mean? That's dope. Here we go. Boom. Oh my god. Oh, which one is my back brake? Oh, oh hell. Oh, let's go. This is tight. Woo, we did it. And that's the most we're gonna do, guys. <laughs> Who's out here doing it like this? Nobody. We're out here having fun showing you guys the real life behind e-bikes. That was perfect. On this episode of Pimp My E-Bike. Ah. Boom. <laughs> Look at you, Joy. Why you always got to match the bike? You know I got to mess, baby. When I first got it, I was like, yeah, this is cool. This will work. Have you rode that one? And that one takes off. I was like, this is sick. And I seen where like, you take the seat off if you want to. Dude, see. I'm about to put some BMX on there. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at this bike. This is the MacWheel L&E 16. This is a 16 inch bike. I had it at one point. I threw on some BMX bars and it looked dope, but to be honest, I'm 6'4". It was way too small for me. So George ended up buying it off of me and man, completely flipping it. This right here is fun. Yeah? Heck yeah. Yeah, that one's tight. This is fun. Dude. I'm not even going front. This is fun. Super tight. I'm like contemplating keeping it. Like I want to sell it, but it's like, it's kind of tight. Like even with the basket, when it's collapsed, it don't look bad. No. It right? Don't. It looks bad when it's like this. Dude, I would roll this to the store for real, for real. That looks trash. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks booty. It looks like a, a service. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it like a service vehicle. You know, like, I'm, yeah. I'm going to deliver a pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just adds, like, 20 years you know to it, mean? but it's cool. But... I feel like I'm doing Uber groceries and stuff. All right, you know what I say, George, real quick? I know we both got stuff to do. Let's take these out real quick and do a little drag race. Want to do it? Let's do it. All right. Hey, you might be the uh, best dressed e-biker out right now, George. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yours max is five? Do the five. I have a feeling mine is faster. Oh. Yeah, George, you ready? Notices, baby. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, he took off. Oh, yeah, right. we're faster. Right. We're oh, faster. Right. <laughs> I gotta go on some kind of We need to be the We don't need helmets. We don't need no sleeping helmets. We need to be like Alright, ready? One. Two, three. Yeah, I'm out on you. This one got a little bit more power. This one got a little bit more power, guys. <laughs> Taking off. He's gone, guys. He's gone. This is tight, though. I love it. In the middle of the street. Oh, little Willy. Oh, Saronster. Hey, okay with the tricks. Check this freaking bike still, out. Know. So this is the turtleneck stem on an Ingway EP2 Pro. So a lot of you guys have been asking, what does it look like on an Ingway? There it is. All right, now you know George, he had to go above and beyond and add in all the red. You guys saw that video, and if you haven't, check it out. But that's the stem, turtleneck. Let's go ahead and um, show him the quick release if you can, George. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. There we go. In Let's seconds. Go. You see how Good. you see how fast that was? Yeah. Crazy. And, I, and I did it slow. And then you can just put it right back in. The guides right in. Boom. It's in. It's just it. like that. It's nice. I like that thing, man. And look at how like clean it looks. It's not like super long. I think it's long enough because I know a lot of people were asking, is it like too short? And then the cool thing about this is that there's a little bit of space up here that you could make it a little bit higher if you want it, and then added a spacer underneath mm -hmm. if you wanted to. One thing to note with the Ingways is that they do have quill stems, so you need a quill stem adapter. I do sell that on my website if you guys want to check it out. And I will leave a link in the description. Thanks, George. Hey, welcome, man. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next scene. That's it for today. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's a new day, and it's hot as hell. <laughs> this is the High Boy seated scooter. 
I did a full review of it last week. You guys know how I feel about these long giraffe necks, so we're definitely gonna turn this into a BMX seated scooter. I think for now I'm gonna keep the rear rack because it's actually functional and when it's collapsed, it doesn't look bad. So first we gotta take off this long giraffe stem. It's super easy. First thing that we're gonna do is undo this latch right here and fold down the bars. Boom. Next, you're gonna get an Allen wrench and loosen up this top cap right here. You wanna take it all the way out. Once you take out the top cap, you wanna loosen up these bolts on the side. Once those bolts are loose, you should be able to slide the stem right off the steer tube. Next, we're gonna get our turtleneck stem base and we're gonna slide it right onto the steer tube. Once you get the base on there, you wanna get the turtleneck adapter and you can slide it right into the base. Once you have the BMX bars on there, the only thing you have to do now is just take everything off of the stock handlebars and put it onto the BMX bars and that's it. So let's go ahead and hurry through that. Guys, I don't think you guys realize how much dedication I have to the e-bike craft. I'm still on the clock, by the way. I'm supposed to be working. I've been out here for an hour straight putting on these BMX bars. Finally did it. At what price? Oh! We're gonna end the video here. I don't feel like riding my bike. It's way too hot. I need to go into some air conditioner ASAP. All right? If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button one time. And until the next one, deuces. Like that. Yeah.